Now on to other news this night. All passengers at San Francisco International Airport have to walk through metal detectors and send their bags through x-ray machines. But what about the 18,000 employees who have access to restricted areas at the airport? Tonight, a follow-up to our investigation into security loopholes at SFO's busiest terminal. Cron 4's Vic Lee joins us now live with the story you'll see only on 4. Good evening, Tom. In our original report, which aired last month, United employees came forward because they were concerned about the security gaps here at the United Terminal. They hoped that our story would plug some of those holes. Well, some of those workers came forward again, taking tremendous risks because they say little has changed since our original report. Do you think passengers who fly today on United are safer than they were before our report aired? Not really. Since our first report two months ago, there's been one big change at United. Before, the employee shuttle bus dropped workers off inside the restricted area of the terminal, bypassing security checkpoints. Today, it takes them to the front of the airport, and the workers are supposed to go upstairs to employee security. This is a security advisory. Complete with metal detectors and x-ray machines, just like passenger checkpoints. According to a United memo and telephone hotline, all employees are required to go through the security checkpoint. Even today, even though employees are supposed to go through a checkpoint, many of them don't go through security? No, they don't. They don't go through a metal detector? No, they don't. They don't go through an x-ray machine? No, they don't. It turns out this United employee is right. While most workers headed for the escalator, our hidden cameras found some, like this man, heading in the opposite direction, entering restricted areas by punching in a code and going through this door. No one knows what he might have been carrying because he never walked through a metal detector. His bag never passed through an x-ray machine. What's more, this is the same door that our United employee walked through in our first report, carrying sharp tools known as Leatherman. It's the door where a security guard gave only a cursory glance at his ID badge. A more thorough examination would have revealed that his identity was obscure. Watch closely. In our follow-up report, the same employee walks through the same door. Now, there's no guard at all. And once through this door, the employee has complete access. So where could you uh, take a weapon into? Onto the tarmac, onto a plane. I will walk to the international terminal. Once you're inside a tarmac, you have access to everything. This employee, who bypassed security when he entered the airport, traveled around the tarmac and boarded three planes in one evening, even went into cockpits. Never once was he stopped or even questioned. He did the same thing in our original report. Today, the United Terminal. We show that report in our new video to San Mateo Congressman Tom Lantos. It's absolutely unacceptable. This clearly is the number one domestic priority to restore public confidence in the airlines, not only in order to avoid uh, another horrendous episode, but because this is directly relevant in terms of the economy. What's worse, our employee says he's got good reason to believe United is aware of the security breaches. United knows about that? Or they just turn the other way? They know it. They just turn the other way because their, their own management feels, does the same thing. In fact, during our watch, three managers drove United vans from the employee parking lot directly onto the tarmac, never going through a metal detector or x-ray machine. There is no justification for that, none whatsoever. That managers may be a little more uh, responsible and, and maybe Well, not I'm not quite. sure that he's more responsible. He has a higher level job, but that's all that means. We have seen some spies in our uh, agencies at very high levels. By the way, even those following United security policy would have little trouble bringing anything they wanted to the airport. SFO spokesman Ron Wilson says United employees only have to go through these checkpoints once in the morning or at the beginning of their shift. After that, they can come and go without passing 
the checkpoints. I guess you have to assume that if uh, an employee was going to be carrying contraband to the secure side of the airport, he'd have it on him the first thing in the morning when he entered the airport. That's, that's, pro that's, that's probably a, a, a fallacy. Two months ago, we tried to show our video to both United and the FAA, but neither wanted to see it. We tried again this time around. A United spokesman said that no United employee in San Francisco had time to look at our video, but did send this statement saying that they currently are meeting all FAA requirements. When asked if the FAA would be interested in seeing our video, a spokesperson said by phone, we are not. I will uh, call my friend Norminetta, and I will call the FAA administrator and bring these matters to their attention. I want them to see it. As for our United employee, he just hopes someone will finally take action before it's too late. We don't want another September 11th to happen again. We don't want that. And that's why I'm coming forward again. One important footnote, none of the United employees who came forward, the ones you saw in the video, violated any FAA regulation. In fact, the FAA does not require airline employees to go through security checkpoints. They do have to swipe a badge or maybe punch in a code or use a palm reader to gain access into restricted areas. But of course, that doesn't prevent them from bringing anything they want into the airport. We are now in contact with Transportation Secretary Norm Mineta, and as you heard, Congressman Lantos will take this issue to the FAA. Reporting live from San Francisco International, Vic Lee, Cron 4 News.